When it was released in 1986, critics hailed Desert Hearts as a film of undeniable power. It was also the first film of its kind that did not involve a bisexual love triangle or kill off its lesbian protagonist. We salute director Donna Deitch and leading lady Patricia Charbonneau for their work in this pioneering lesbian classic. Desert Hearts is about two women who fall in love when Vivian Bell goes to Reno, Nevada in 1959. There, she meets Kay Rivers. Vivian Bell, Kay Rivers. How do you do? Know? I love you. I was given this book by a friend, Desert of the Heart, written by Jane Rule. And I read the book seven times in a row, and I thought, you know, this book would really make the sort of film that I'm after. <laughs> this was a film that was waiting to be born. I saw the script and I first read it, I thought, this is an incredible character. Thank you for a really lovely day. Every time she is around, the energy just has to like change. Good luck. And what an incredible challenge. I loved her from day one. I wanted to make a universal love story, you know, as told through two female characters mm -hmm. about two people who an audience would root for. You know, because that's what happens in a love story. They're either going to root for these two people to get together, mm -hmm. or they're not. She picked my picture out of a stack of pictures in New York here and said, am I right? Yes. This girl looks yes. like what the, Kay? Yeah, I said, this is how I always imagined Kay Rivers to look. Are you trying to shock me? No. I was only telling you the truth. When she and Helen got together, it was just um, quite palpable. I mean, you could feel the chemistry. It was truly the right yeah. combination. Yeah, it did. That was true. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I knew Helen was around that little corner with her beautiful bathrobe on her, her beautiful hair looking so magnificent. My only clear memory is arriving. The rest is a blur, an absolute blur. I'm like going, oh God, here comes the camera. Oh my God, here comes the camera. <laughs> Get ready, do not show fear. Do not show fear. <laughs> and it was certainly not a scene about showing fear. What do you think you're doing? Waiting for you. Honestly, I think Helen is brilliant with that moment. It just really worked. It did, it's yeah. an amazing yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not taking off my robe. Well, everybody draws the line somewhere. <laughs> it's a really interesting question when people ask me about the intimacy, because I, I felt so comfortable. I am, I am one of um, another four sisters. I've been in an environment of women all the time. We always shared beds. We always, I mean, it's just, I definitely come from a very maternal family. And I just never, I don't feel uncomfortable with women. I love being with women. Whether the women are straight or gay, women tend to be more intimate with other women than, um, than with men um, in terms of friendships. And, um, and so I really, wanted to, I really wanted to mirror that. OK. Now start talking. You're going to laugh. This must be serious. I think I found somebody who counts. From the beginning, and don't step over the good parts. Well, I didn't want that lesbian relationship to, you know, to sit outside of, you know, other intimate <laughs> friendships. <laughs> well, rock and roll. That sounds a lot funnier than it is. Like the relationship between Patricia's character and Audra Lindley's, mm -hmm. that's um, full of friction, but it's it's just incredibly intimate. And when you see them talking late at night in bed, do you come with me? You can quit the casino and go to art school. It's full of that, that friction oh. and mixed agendas. Oh, um, and yet, at the same time, their body language is so intimate. Oh. And it's beautiful. I gotta go. 
I'm not staying, so don't squeeze. I think the film is so intimate because we were all so intimate. Well, the whole thing was tremendously, you know, gratifying. I have not had that freedom since. Uh, not that much freedom, and, and I yearn for it. The word is out. The word is out. The word is when, though.